to the last words of Jesus. We follow him through the way of the cross. And now we again experience him in the reading of the Gospel according to John. The one lesson that I'd like to bring forward is the lesson that this Jesus loves us so much that even he was ready to let go of everything he was in order that he will die so that you and I will become equal with him, sons and daughters of the God. When we read the Passion of our Lord Jesus, it is very important, dear people, to remember that you are not reading an author. You are reading something very sacred, very beautifully, and that is, in a nutshell, what our faith is all about. That he who comes to share our humanity, as the second reading said, he was like us in everything but sin. He comes in order that by his very life, by his very passion and death, and burial and resurrection, he brought to us forgiveness from the Father and the hope of eternal life. And that is really what we celebrate every time we come together. We call it the Akhafa, it means the breaking of the bread. And after we re remember and reflect on the words of Scripture, we break bread together. When we experience the death and the rising of Jesus. And that's why we need to be broken like him, broken to the service of one another. So that while we break our broken ourselves in service of others, we can find ourselves. Unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much wheat. And this is the message for you, dear people. That holy and holy week, especially this day on Friday, is for us a day of penance of reparation and reflecting on how much God loves us. When I was walking the procession and I was seeing the people who were carrying the statues, young and old, which is very important, and also I see the congregation walking behind Jesus and stopping at the stop to reflect on the journey of Jesus, I say to myself, is not this what the Lord wants from us? So that we love him not only by carrying the statue or doing the stations, but we really enter into this mode, the mood of Holy Week, to reflect on the love of the Father, to reflect on the love of the Son, to reflect on the love of the Holy Spirit that he himself from the Father has sent to guide the church and also that we share with have great devotion to the passion of Christ. I am so glad that St. Rita was chosen for this passion. Because St. Rita that was, was famous for it. That's why she always had the cross in her hands. She reflected on the passion of Christ. She prayed that she would share in the suffering of Jesus. And while she was praying, in fact, her picture of the torn coming into her forehead just arrived days ago to be hanged at the back of the church. She shared with Christ part of his passion. She suffered not only the pain, but also the embarrassment. And that's what we need to do dear people. We need to share his cross, sometimes the embarrassment that we get from our own people, from those people who do not understand where we are coming from, or who is Jesus for us. Have great, have great love for the passion of Christ, which really includes, <coughs> speak very highly of this, in fact, every Friday, he will make this, the members of his society, after they have taught the kids, to go into the little chapel of every um, location that they are, and in the chapel they will put the cross on the floor, 
and they would sing the very Christians. And there they would come and kneel and kiss the cross. Because that cross was the means of our salvation. That cross is what did the world good. That cross is the identification of each one of us. And whenever you look at the cross, and they conclude with this, always remember, God loves you. There is no greater love than this, that one died for the one he loves, and that Jesus for you. Remember, I and you have put that Jesus on the cross by our rejection of his love. Whenever I reject his love, and I, I do sin, I put him on the cross. Remember, mostly, and foremost, that that cross is your own. By that cross you will be saved. That cross was interfered, interceded, interceded, in front of the eternal Father, with that five wounds, pleading for me and for you, so that we will be forgiven when we approach the throne of mercy. May the passion of Christ be imprinted into our hearts. And together with St. Alphonse of Medal of Glory, we say the beautiful prayer that we say at the station. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Now,